Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Aeroshot and I have the surprise for you. Right now you're watching some Halo 4 gameplay on Abandon. And uh, I played last night at midnight till about, uh, about from 12.30 to about 3.30. So I got in a good three hours of, you know, setting up my uh, controls, getting used to the game and everything like that. And finally we got to matchmaking and it was so fun. So here is my best game of um, my first ever session of Halo 4. This is Abandoned Infinity Slayer. I was rolling with 4s. And basically this game, I just wanted to introduce to you guys Halo 4 as a general, as generally as I can on my channel. Because it's going to be what's going to be. It is going to be what is going to be on my channel for so long. This guy, look at this guy. This guy tried to run away and he uh, unfortunately could not because my teammates converged on him. So... What do I think about the game so far? I guess it's only natural that I give you my first impressions. It it's phenomenal. It's it's like every it's like what Reach could have done, but got it right. And it it reminds me of Halo 3, but it's also Reach esque. And I don't know. I like it. I like it because it's fast paced, but there's a lot of new customizations and stuff. But it doesn't feel like they're all clogged in, just like they threw it into the game last minute. It seems like they thought about the game, they assessed it, they tried to balance it out. And they really just made a really fun, really fun yet competitive Halo, which is, you know, what they had to do because sometimes in competitive Halo it could get very boring and very stale, um, you know, if there's just the standard weapons and stuff. But, you know, this it's kind of appealing to everyone because there is a huge display of skill, in my opinion, just playing these game types with ordinances and all these armor abilities. I mean, it's still very, very fun and, you know, the team who works together the best will triumph in the end so it very much has a classic feel but it also has these new elements which makes it super awesome so as i was saying this was my best game of last night i actually go 21 and 2 i i believe so and i was so close to get my running right which is 15 kills in a row but i died one off it i believe so that wasn't cool but anyways guys i want to give you guys some quick tips my quick arrow shots quick tips for matchmaking if you are perhaps new to the Halo world and this is your first Halo, you know, I would just like to applaud you if this is your first Halo. I just want to say congratulations for entering the greatest game series of all time. And uh, if maybe you played Halo for a while and you're not really sure, you know, if maybe you're not too into multiplayer or anything or you just want to get good at it, here are my tips for you guys. Tip number one, always roll with the crew. Um, you know, it's so crazy how good rolling with the team is especially in matchmaking uh the number one reason is you could coordinate your attacks and all of a sudden it's not like you're a lone wolf you're actually playing a team game and also you can um call out to each other and i know calling out is not something very crucial when you're playing call of duty but here in halo call outs are amazing because they give you a mental picture of what is going on around the map way beyond what your eyes can see because now your teammates are talking to you you know what's going on you know what the enemies are doing you know what weapons they have it's really really beneficial because then you could you could um shape your own actions to best fit the situation that you're going to be presented with and you know i really think it's awesome uh if i'm not playing with the team usually i'll just be playing free for all or at least that's the plan i plan to tackle a lot of free for all in this game I really like the free-for-all dynamic. I think it's really sick, and you know, a lot of times it's not—it's not very convenient for all your friends, all your buddies to get off at the same time. So you know, free-for-all is good for that. And number one tip, if you just want to get your skill up, because I, I know some uh, some people left comments on my vids saying you know they just play the multiplayer for Reach. I mean, they just play the campaign for Reach. They didn't really try out the multiplayer. And the reason for that is, in my from my experience, if you're not good at Halo multiplayer, it's you're not going to want to play it. Um, it's not like COD where you just can pick it up. It takes some time, it takes some dedication, but at the end, it, it's like the best multiplayer experience of all time. Uh, so what you got to do is you got to stick to it. Um, if you really want to get your skill up in Halo in general, I highly recommend going into free for all lobbies and just getting to as many gunfights as you can because you build map awareness, you build gun skill, you build uh, just your intuition, like what you do without you even thinking about it is what you build in free for all and that's how I got better at Halo when I wasn't too good at it. And that's just, uh, that was tip number two, go into free for all if you're not very good at the game or if you're new to it or if you just want to up your gun skill, free for all is incredibly good for that. Um, if you want to 
do well in matchmaking, if you want to win your games, I recommend rolling with the squad who knows what they're doing and are very communicative. And also, here's a little tip for you guys. Um, so, the jetpack works really, 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 really well on almost every single map I've played so far in Halo 4. Uh, 343 Industries really did a good job in making the jetpack a viable thing to do. A viable, uh, what is it called? Armor ability to use. Because in the past in Halo Reach, people with jetpack, it was just like, uh, you know, what's the point really? Because sprint pretty much outweighs everything. But in this game, you have sprint and jetpack, and it's so awesome to move that fast across the map. Uh, to have that sort of mobility where you could just cross uh, vertical levels of the map and be an asset to your team, pick up power weapons quickly, get from one spot to another, evade enemies, and you could do all of that with jetpack. So it really is pretty good. Um, Promethean Vision is also one of my uh, favorites so far from what I've played. Promethean Vision and jetpack are the two armor abilities to use to get used to, to get really good at. And also for the tactical upgrades, I just got Dexterity this game, which allows me to reload faster. And it's really sweet. It's, um, it, I think it's going to be the best one, the most used one. And this guy's getting run up on my blade. And, uh, you know, I would just get so scared right there. But, yeah, dude. So those are my tips for you guys. Uh, let me know if it's useful. And coming up soon on my channel, you're going to see a lot of live communication gameplays for Halo 4. I think those are the most beneficial where, um... You get to actually see something with your eyes, see how someone plays, see how they communicate, and it's gonna have, it's gonna be great. You're gonna have a fun time, and I thank you so much for watching this Halo 4 gameplay, first ever on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your support. My name is Arrow Shot, and I am over and out.